it is time to check out our NCAA games for this week. Let's talk. Let's talk a little bit about Baylor, Oklahoma Turtle. Who do you who do you got now, one, bro? So last week I I, I went in, uh, an interesting road um, while you were out on vacation. <laughs> Me and Obi Ron took this, and I went with my gut, and then immediately went to the opposite. Oh, because Costanza! I've gone with my gut. I've you been g- wrong. You gave it to George Costanza. I've been wrong. So I ha- I honestly I got to say Oklahoma is going to take this one. I think Oklahoma is going to beat Baylor. Uh, I just don't see Baylor really pulling this one out. Uh, I think I'm going to ride in that car with you. Oklahoma's at home. We're getting t- into part of that season where guys can play a little bit harder. Yeah. They just want a little bit more. Pretty soon you got to hang the pads up. The chicks aren't talking to you as heavy. Oklahoma at home. I'm going with you on that I one. am 100% with you guys. I've loved Baylor's run so far. Yeah. But now it's getting to that time of the year where Oklahoma needs to be where they are supposed to be. They are not going to lose this game at home. There's yeah. no chance of it. And Turtle, I'm happy to see that you are picking with your gut. Because had you gone with your gut last week, you'd have been four for four. <laughs> there you go. And plus, plus RG3... It. RG3 defines Baylor to me at this moment. I don't know why. I hate to put him. He's long gone from there, but <laughs> this is what you guys give us in the league? All the right. emotional. Yeah, right. yeah, this is what you give us? Uh, okay, so next oh. up we got Notre Dame oh. versus Arizona State. Oh. Uh, this is a hard one. I'm going to jump this one off. and Oh, my God. Oh, this man. is so hard. I'm going to go with the upset here. I'm going to go with Notre Dame on the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm 100% with you on this one. Notre Dame... Uh, Notre Dame looks like the Notre Dame that we used to see on a regular basis. Yeah, uh, I With Mark think Bavaro and sitting all in 10th, they are way too low. I expect these guys to be up on the bubble by the end of the year. Really don't see them getting to the top four, but I expect to see them up in either that fifth or probably more likely sixth spot. Uh, ASU's had another, another team. Great run. They're at home. I think they're going to lose this one. I think Notre Dame knows how to win at this time of year, so I'm going with the Fighting yeah. Irish. Yeah, I, I agree 100%. Turtle, what do you think? Uh, so I am a Pac-12 fan, and I do agree I do agree with you that this is the time that Notre Dame uh, kind of gets their ass in gear, starts playing great football. But there's something in me. I think, I think the Sun Devils are going to take this. They're playing at home. I think I, I got to go with the Sun Devils. All right. They're yeah. one of the teams that I follow. Nothing against Notre Dame, nothing against Fighting Irish. It's going to be a hell of a game. And whoever wins, you know, they obviously deserve it. But I think Arizona's going to take it. I'll say by three points. Oh. By a field goal, they'll take this game. All right. Going to be nice and tight. All right, guys, we're going to speed up here. I know we're uh, getting short on time. We got okay. Kansas State at TCU. Uh, I'm, hmm. I got to go with TCU. I really, I, I want Kansas State to win this. And in fact, I've I've recently started watching the K State quarterback in hopes that maybe he'll fall somewhere in the Jets. But uh, <laughs> I got TCU on this one. Yeah, TCU is a team I have watched. Every time I pick TCU, they lose. Every time I pick against them, they win. This team has confused and confounded me. Yep. So this game, I am surely in trouble. However. I like Kansas State, and I like the way they play. They've been consistent for me. TCU's coming off a win. Mm-hmm. I'm expecting them to ba- bounce back with another loss. K-State's going to bring it to them. I'm going K-State wow. this week. Turtle? Uh, I agree with you, Ron, that Kansas State is looking good, and TCU, you know, they're coming off a win, but that's why I'm picking TCU. I think they're going to ride high off that and know – that they're going to have to continue going on in order to stay in these rankings. So I, I got TCU at home just because they're playing great. Agreed. Right agreed. on, right on. All right, last up we have Ohio State Buckeyes against Michigan State Spartans. I'll go first on this one, and I will say uh, unequivocally the Buckeyes are not what they used to be, and at 14 they feel like they're in the right spot for me. I don't see him going up. I don't see him getting past the Spartans. Uh, I'm going to go with the home team Spartans, Michigan State. Yep. Turtle? Uh, I 100% agree with you. You're playing Michigan at Michigan. Uh, I just don't see them losing at home. I really don't. Nah. I, you know, what's a Buckeye anyway? That's, that's uh, Let's just start there. What's a Buckeye? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> second of all, 
Uh, I heard Big Sean on the radio on uh, on Carson Daly's show on Amp in the morning, and Big Sean is from Michigan, Detroit, and I like Big Sean. So, and I also have a friend named Lindsay Sakula, who's one of the top sports girls I know. She's a Michigan State alum, and anytime I pick against Michigan State, she says, "You be sorry." So today, I'm not going to be sorry. I'm going Michigan State. Right on. Right on. I, uh, on behalf of Big Sean and Lindsey, I'm going Michigan State. I said Michigan State should be in the top four and should be playing for a playoff position anyway. And it looks like we might, might, might get to see that. So I'm pulling for them. Right on. Uh, last week? I got to give you props, dude. You picked them four for four. Four for four last week. Off, four for four well, from, the road, from the road. From the road. From the road. Yeah. No TV. Walking around Manhattan, picking games from the road. Yeah. At the garden. Like, I, I just felt last week was, I mean, even the upsets I was on, I, everything I, last week felt good. Maybe it was because I knew I was going home. It's going to be back in New York. I just, my juices was flowing. You got that right. But it, but it happened. It happened. Well, congratulations, man, because you nailed it. Yeah, it was a it was a t- I'm hope and I'm I'm hoping I do pretty well this week too. So we'll cool. see. I'm back in LA, so I'm a little slower. Yeah, <laughs> a little I'm slower. with you. I'm with you. I'm uh, with you. so that's gonna do it for this portion of uh, our. Uh...